Okay, so we're gonna do something a little different tonight. I was lucky enough to find some very old, very primitive motion pictures from 1903 and 1915, respectively. So this first scene is from 1903, and it's Motion Beach by the Cliff House. And here we see some very strange inheritors just kind of meandering around in the sand. No beach towels, no real uh, direction or purpose, just kind of, there's that guy there with the creepy mustache, and uh, they all got the same hats as usual. Wouldn't expect anything different. And once again, way too many freaking clothes. There we have the cliff house there in the background looking ominous as ever. And all these people just kind of seem like they've never seen a large body of water. You know? Uh, just completely inappropriate clothes. I mean, I know I'm going to get a, a ton of comments about how there was decency laws and you weren't allowed to wear bathing suits. And stuff, but it's all nonsense. It's all nonsense. Prove to me that there was laws against wearing proper clothing at the beach. Okay. Just, you know, provide some evidence that, that you that you couldn't wear proper attire at the beach. It's, it's ridiculous. But regardless, here's the inheritors and that's it. That's all I got on that. This one is Market Street, 1903. This isn't the famous film of Market Street in 1906. This is three years prior. And here we see the city completely built out. Uh, same problem here with just a bunch of meandering inheritors, just people recklessly crossing the street. Um, it's just the usual, just nonsense. You know, here we see there in the background, a towering skyscraper, you know, and then these people here with the ridiculous clothes are somehow supposed to be involved in the construction of this. You know, just absolute madness. As, as other people pointed out about these types of films where we see the traffic and the people, there was just no, there was no order. There was no method to madness. It was kind of just a free for all pandemonium. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's something else. So apparently they were waiting for a parade to start. Supposedly the president at the time. You know, I don't know. That's just what I heard. But, uh, you know, <laughs> like I said, you know, it's, it's just, uh, it's something else. I, I, you know, I'm surprised that I was even even able to find such a film. This, this, this whole, that's all I got on that. So, yeah, you know, and here's another one. This one I included because it's it's not really the best film either, but it's from 1902, and it's from a hot air balloon. And it just starts out creepy as hell. Here we have these uh, almost translucent figures here on the ground waiting for the balloon to launch. And like I said, it's not really the best quality. It's not even really the best uh, cinematography. But given the fact of its age and its rarity, I decided to include it. And there's a couple moments of, uh, there's a couple highlights, let's say, where you can see a couple of the buildings uh, in my previous video. The, uh, the Twin Spire building, whatever that one is. If anybody knows, leave it in the comments. It's coming up here pretty soon. So, like I said, this, this video is not the best quality, not the best cinematography, <clears throat> but regardless, it gives us at least a glimpse of what San Francisco looked like in 1902, supposedly. And, you know, we see that it's still built out. We still see some big buildings. And, uh, you know, so that would be about 50 years, which, you know, it seems like a long time, but once again, primitive tools and uh, supposedly a limited labor force, but who really knows? 
and here we see just you know it's just really terrible quality you know the, the the film was not well preserved it was not taken care of if it had been then you know we would be seeing a lot more information in these frames but you know we'll take what we can get at this point if uh if anybody knows where i can find better quality clips of the same time period let me know in the comments so there we see the twin spire building whether it's a cathedral or some other kind of temple but there it was for a second so we know that it was there in 1902 um, but you know once again like i said we see the city built out in some way some fashion yeah, it's just uh it's just uh, not the best quality, unfortunately. And that's okay. You know, like I said, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And there we see some more construction. You know, the one one thing about this footage, at least it's um, at least it's coherent. At least there isn't you know huge gaps in the, in the uh, in the frames, but it's just a little. It's just a little muddy, you know, it's just a little too soft to really see a lot of detail, unfortunately. And I see some more people on the ground, and that's it. And here's another, uh, I guess you call it a parade of when the president visited. So here we see some more inheritors waiting. We see the buildings. We see what appears to be people standing on balconies, out windows, uh, plenty of wreaths and flags, plenty of horses. You know, and it's just, it's just interesting to see just motion pictures at this time. You don't normally find motion pictures, plenty of photographs, but for this time, motion pictures are very rare and we're lucky to have these. So we shouldn't complain too much because uh, this is all I can find. Now, if anybody has any links to any other San Francisco, or uh, New York of uh, the early 1900s, let me know in the comments. And so I don't believe you ever get a very good look of the president in this particular clip, but regardless, well, that's it. So. And then uh, here we have the 1915 World's Fair Panama Exposition. And I was able to find a few short clips of that. And uh, it's interesting seeing it in motion because we're so used to only seeing stills. But, you know, once again, it, it really details just the enormity and the size of the whole project uh, officially. Officially it was, you know, all built you know, in a short period of time to only be kept up, but no. We all know that that doesn't make any sense. If anything, it was repaired and then demolished. But to say that there wasn't some existing structures to build off of or that there wasn't some hand in the design, I mean, I mean, that's just, uh, that's just really going out on a limb to say that uh, all this was done by uh, donkeys and shovels and you know, just, I mean, I feel like one of these days we're going to have a big breakthrough and then we're going to find something that really ties it together because... 
the inconsistencies and the uh, contradictions are just getting a little old. So here we have Union Square, San Francisco, and uh, you know, once again, completely built out. We see just the enormity of the construction at the time. And, uh, you know, it's just interesting to see what it really looked like over a hundred years ago. And, uh, you know, well, that's it. That's, no, that's the end of that one. Like I said, this is kind of a weird video. You know, it's a lot of weird footage. It's a little um, low quality, so I didn't want to put a lot of effort into the narration just because of how jumpy it is. But um, you know, I'll leave the links. I'll leave the links in the in the description to uh, the source, and then you can kind of see it for yourself if you want. But uh, and there's a few other. Uh, resources on there. It's from the Library of Congress. So I'll leave a link to the Library of Congress collection. And, uh, you know, you guys can examine it on your own. But this is basically the best of the clips that I can see on there. And anyways, we have... <clears throat> I've never seen this this portion of the World's Fair in, in, in motion before. I've only seen stills of the nighttime shots. So we see just how grandiose and elaborate the lighting was for the time. And I'm not a lighting expert, but it seems a bit over the top for 1915. But uh, what do I know, really? I mean, we're all just trying to figure it out, I guess, in the end here. So regardless, still an amazing sight. Here we have some type of ride, some type of, uh, I don't know what you call it, but that's, a, that's a, an amusement ride there going up and down must have been terrifying at the time to be in that thing spinning around like that but you know, people uh people needed entertainment back then too so and uh we're just gonna end here with this uh, slightly ominous clip of the ferry building in 1915 in san francisco thanks for watching goodbye